Good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today, for my devotional, I'd like to share from the book of First John, chapter three, verse seven to ten. And if you can, I want to encourage you to read these verses with me. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is right is right, just as he is righteous. The one who does what is sinful. is of the devil because the devil has been sinning from the beginning the reason the son of god appeared was to destroy the devil's work no one who is born of god will continue to sin because god's seed remains in them they cannot go on sinning because they have been born of god this is how we know who the children of god are and who the children of the devil are anyone who does not do what is right is not god's child nor is anyone who does not love their brother and sister amen in the previous passage from my last devotional we read about how those who believe in jesus are children of god by his love furthermore through the passage we were reminded what it means to live as children of God in our everyday spiritual journey. In today's passage, the Apostle John continues talking about how children of God should live. And furthermore, he tells us about how we know who the children of God are and who the children of devil are. Nature dictates that parents pass their traits to their children. Applying this law of heredity to our spiritual condition, John refers to those who live in sins, children of devil, because sin is what has defined the devil since the beginning. I believe those who live in sin as those who refuse to believe in Jesus and have no desire to repent from their sin. This contrast with Christians who are born of God and practice His love and righteousness in response to the grace that they have received. It is true that we still make mistakes and we struggle with different sins since the sinful nature resides in us in our mortal bodies. Maybe we are struggling with the same sin over and over, which might depress us and discourage us. However, through this passage, we can remember that Jesus, the Son of the living God, has dealt the definitive death blow to sin, death, and the devil. He has wrenched us free from Satan, and now no one can snatch us from Jesus' embrace. Today, God's grace is enough to forgive and save us if we turn to Him with repentance and surrender. As the children of God, today let us fill our hearts with thankfulness and joy and continue to pursue the footsteps of Jesus today. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your faithfulness and grace. Even when we are unfaithful, you made the forgiveness always available through the blood of your Son, Jesus. Lord, let this grace remind us of who we truly are in you and help us to remember that you have called us as your children. Lord, today we ask that your Spirit who resides in each one of us may empower us to Live more like your son Jesus in every part of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.